in an attacking sense, to be honest. Without Lyle Foster and without Lyle Motiba, we don't really have too many other players that can measure up on that level. Evidence Mahopa. Yeah. Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of The Corner Flag and I'm your host again, Deshane and we will be talking AFCON of course today In today's encounter we will be talking about um, Namibia of course facing South Africa and it is a mammoth encounter indeed with this one because Namibia is in a favourable position um, I believe they are in second place um, after the first round of games of course winning their game against Tunisia and Bafana Bafana are in last position, of course, losing their game against Mali. So uh, Bafana have it all to play for, and it is still an open group, depending on how today's results go. Um, it is going to be an exciting clash because these are teams that know each other very, very well. Of course, a lot of Namibian uh, players, of course, like Gion Hato, who was the man of the match in the previous encounter, as well as Peter Shalulile, the Namibian captain, um, to name a few, of course, uh, play the tried in the PSL. So these are players that know each other very, very well, um, and it is going to be an exciting encounter because of that as well. And uh, some crucial players that we will be looking at, of course, we did mention uh, Peter Shalulile, top scorer in South Africa, former Melody Sundowns um, in the PSL. Um, and he is a lethal, lethal, lethal uh, player that we will be facing. But of course, he will be playing against a lot of his teammates on the Bafana Bafana side. Um, players including Obre Modiba, Tabo Mugwen, of course, Motobi Mvala, Tafel Mashiho and Terrence Mashiho on the sides. Uh, yeah, so there's Puliso Mudao. There's, there's quite a few. I think these are players that know each other very, very well. Um, the players that we do think uh, should start for Wafana Wafana. The strike force is still a problem. The strike force is still a problem. I don't really know what Bruce was thinking in this case and how he's going to solve it. Um, the only thing that I can really think of off of the top of my head is to just let go of the target man, you know, tactic. To just do away with that, you know. Just at this point, just go with three really, really fast. Forward. So in this case, you're looking at maybe Persita if you're going to play him either on the right or you can play him as a center forward. He's really comfortable at either place. Um, you can play Matlele Mayambel, of course, and, and another side. Tapelo uh, Maseko, I know he started the last game. Uh, it still gives a lot of energy, but I'm still not convinced. It's still, it's still too one-dimensional for me. I don't know if he's going to give us enough. Um, but it, there isn't really a lot. In that case, maybe Arsenal and Palace might get a, a shot in this one. We don't really know, um, so we'll have to see. And then in the midfield, of course, Pepe Losetole, uh, really, really good player. I think he can come on the midfield if he really asserts himself in this game. Really, really good defensive midfielder, very physical as well. Um, but in the previous game, didn't really show too much of his qualities. Showed a lot of sideways passes. Um, it really would have been nice to see him get the game, advance the game forward for these passes. Um, similar to what he gave uh, La Foster in the game we had against Morocco for his assist. So it's really, really nice to have him uh, to me asserting himself, especially in that midfield. We really need somebody to uh, pass that midfield alongside Davo Homoguen, who's also a fantastic player. We just speak about the fact that he does also know uh, quite a few of the Namibia players because of the fact that they are in the PSL. Uh, very, very good player as well in the defensive midfield, holding role, links the defense and the attack well as well. Uh, it's really, really imperative that he and his midfield partner have a stellar game today and bust the midfield so that they are able to provide our forwards with as many chances as possible. As we did say, South Africa is lacking in an attacking, in an attacking sense, to be honest. Without Lyle Foster and without Lyle Motiba, we don't really have too many other players that can measure up on that level. Evidence Mahopa, yeah, you know, at this point it might just feel like we, we are basically trashing on this boy and it's really unfair, but he really shouldn't be there. It's not even his fault, the fact that we're trashing him. Because it shouldn't be there at this point. There are many other players who are qualified to be playing in that position. So, yeah, not really gave us, didn't really give us much. 
not really expecting to see much of him today as well. Le Passa also really off form, can give you energy, but I'm not I'm not really hoping for too many goals. So we'll see what um, Bruce does on that end. We did mention the fact that he could go ahead and go with three fast forwards. So Tapelo Maseko maybe plays it out down the middle and Michel Mayambela or Palace uh, Percy and uh, yeah, depending on how he chooses to mix it up and press it out, but you know, we really, 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 it's imperative we get a result today. And if it's three points, nothing less than three points at this point, right? So that's what's going to be really, really imperative. Um, so if you're looking at predictions, it's going to be a hard one. Namibia will be feeling very, very confident after their win, especially winning against such a great team such as Tunisia. They do play with a lot of zestiness they know what they have to play for Dion Hato is very very creative Peter Shalulila we know can always bang them in and uh, Bafana's defense is very very leaky at this point so it's really really gonna be hard for them they're going to be very very uh, <laughs> they're gonna be pressed at this point so it's going to be imperative that they uh, well I hope that Bruce oh my god Yo, yo, I hope that Bruce does something about uh, about the defense in that case. Obrim Uribe will see, maybe we'll keep him on the left back position, but he can play in the midfield as well. Temba Zwani, if he has a great game also, it will be imperative uh, for him to, you know, do the business in today's game. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Predictions wise, I was running away from this question. Uh, but we'll go to one to Bafana Bafana. I think they will be very, very motivated. They do need to win uh, this game. It is a must win. Uh, so we'll go to one Bafana. I do think that, you know, there is a mistake or two in the Bafana defense. Um, so we'll have to see what happens going forward. Um, but yeah, we'll see you again in a few hours after the match. Until next time, please do subscribe, share, and uh, we'll see you again in the next video.